In this lesson, you will learn some basic information about fractions. So fractions in this case are part of a whole. So if we have this whole square, we can split that whole square up into equal parts. In this case, we have two equal parts. So it's the same square, same size, same shape, but it's into two parts. So if I have one out of two parts, we call that one half. This is the exact same shape and size as the other piece. Okay, and if we put two of them together, we get this whole square. So we call that one half. We also have two halves. Well, that two halves, we can write it as two halves. We also just call that two halves one whole, but we can call it two halves. In this case, we have the same shape square, but this time it's split up into three equal parts. If I put those on top of each other, they're exactly the same shape and size. So three equal parts of this one whole. We can have one out of three parts, which is one third, or I can take two out of three, and that's two thirds, two out of the three total. Or if we have the whole thing, we actually have three thirds, okay? Same shape and size, so just depending on how many parts of that whole you take out. Here we have a circle. This circle is split into three equal parts. That is the same shape and size as both of these other pieces. So we have this whole circle split into three parts. I could take out one third of that, or this side is two thirds. So one third or two thirds, I could take one third, one third, doesn't matter, there's two thirds, okay? But it's still the same whole, which would be the whole part would be three thirds. Here's a triangle. This triangle is actually split up into one, two, three, four parts. So this time we're going to have fourths, so four equal parts. I can have one out of four, I can have two out of four, I can have three out of four, or the whole thing put back together is four out of four. Here's another square. This square is also split into fourths. One, two, three, four equal parts to make the whole square. And again, we can have one out of four, we can have two out of four, and if you notice, two out of four is actually the same thing as one half. Kind of interesting. We can have three out of four, or the whole thing, which is four out of four. And the same thing with our circle. So we have the circle, the whole circle, can be split into four equal parts, one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, or four-fourths. And again, if you take two-fourths, you actually have one-half. Okay? And that's the end of our lesson on fractions.